can't see a thing, Jim. Well, hold on. I swear, it's always some damn thing. Wait, got it. Ah, oh, hell, this thing ain't gonna hold. Shut up. Damn, you're ugly. You girls strapped in nice and tight now. Tighter than your mama lady. for me out there, Joey Ray. We got terror for sure. I don't know about the rest. We got a big old buttload of floating debris out here. <laughs> we hit pay dirt this time for sure. Explain to me how we're gonna get all this home. I'm detached and moving toward the derelict spacecraft. Damn it, Jim. Video's out again. Well, quit picking at it. I ain't picking at it, damn it. I'm out here with a hitch of my gay hey, up and you're in there. I'm in your jack. I'm in your jack. I'm in your jack. I'm in Adjutant Online. Good evening, Magistrate. I'll fill you in on what's been happening. Confederate traffic has increased substantially within the system due to the recent Protoss destruction of the Chao Sara colony. The Confederates have tightened security on all outlying systems, and it's likely that this colony will be locked down as well. An encrypted Confederate transmission came for you while you were at dinner. Replaying transmission. Greetings, Magistrate. I'm General Edmund Duke of the Confederate Security Forces, Alpha Squadron. The Confederacy has quarantined this entire planet, and we'll proceed with a lockdown within 48 hours. You're to relocate your core colonists to the outlying wastelands. Now, I know there won't be any problems with these new arrangements. Transmission ended. I have contacted the local marshal, James Rayner. Rayner has agreed to meet your personnel en route and escort them to the new wasteland site. Receiving incoming transmission. Comlink established. Hey, what's up, man? Got your refugees tucked in nice and tight. Providing you can sidestep any more surprises from our Confederate friends and we can keep them away from those critters, they should have an easy time. Priority alert. Backwater station under attack by unknown alien organisms. Distress beacon activated at 0658. Alerting Confederate headquarters on Tarsonis. Stand by for incoming transmission. We've already received the distress beacon from Backwater and we'll take care of it. You just sit tight. You'll be notified if there's anything we think you need to know. Damn! Listen, if we wait for Confederate reinforcements, that station's dust. I'll head out there now and do what I can. You send in some militia, and we'll save those folks. Trust me. Receiving incoming transmission. Marshal Rayner. 
by destroying the vital Confederate installation, you and your men have violated standing colonial law. As of right now, you're all under arrest. I suggest you throw down your weapons and come peaceably. Are you out of your mind? If we hadn't burned that damn factory, this entire colony could have been overrun. Maybe if you hadn't taken your sweet time in getting here. Now, I asked you nice the first time, boy. I didn't come here to talk with you. Now throw down them weapons. Guess you wouldn't be a Confederate if you weren't a complete pain in the ass. like you mash some poor feather's dog, Sarge. It's a Zerglin, Lester. Smaller type of Zerg. But he can be out this far unless... Oh, shit. I love you, Sarge. Receiving incoming transmission. Comlink established. I got your message, Magistrate. And frankly, I don't care what you have to say about Confederate regulations. You damn fringe world yokos are all alike. Don't know where your loyalties lie. Y'all have a real good day now, you hear? Transmission ended. The report you requested is ready. Sixteen outland stations have reported sightings of the alien invaders identified as Zerg. The Confederates have arrested all standing militia forces and continue to avoid action against the Zerg. Three stations have fallen to the Zerg already. We've been unable to locate any source of military relief except the extremist faction known as the Sons of Korhal. Their liaison is holding online. Good day, Magistrate. My name is Arcturus Mengsk, and I represent the Sons of Korhal. You're familiar with the Confederate propaganda surrounding my group, but your reputation suggests you'll see past it. It's never been our practice to operate in any one place for long, but these Zerg don't look like they're going to wait. <laughs> I'm going to make you an offer, Magistrate. I'd like to help you out by sending down a number of transports to your colony and evacuating any survivors. You know, of course, that my organization operates outside the bounds of Confederate law. That's why they spread their lies and misinformation. If you decide to accept our help, you'll be branded as an outlaw, too. But it's a chance to save those people. Time to make a stand, Magistrate. Ending transmission. Priority alert. Evacuation zone under attack by Zurich forces. Distress beacon activated at 12.20. Your tenure as Colonial Magistrate is suspended, pending an official investigation of your affiliation with the Sons of Korhal. Receiving incoming transmission. Hey man, Arcturus's boy sprung me from the prison ship. Apparently they're as frustrated with the Confederates as we are. I know their reputation, but they seem to be on the level. I think Arcturus wanted to speak with you. Commander, Mar Sarah is almost completely overrun by the Zerg. The Confederates are abandoning the planet, and so are we. However, there is one thing I'd like to do before we leave. I want you 
to raid this colony's Confederate outpost and retrieve whatever design or weapon schematics that you can find in their networks. With the chaos of the Confederates' evacuation, you shouldn't have any trouble getting in or out of their installation. I'm into it. Hey man, Headquarters has begun analysis of the disks. They expect to have them decoded shortly. I hope whatever's on those disks is worth it. Receiving incoming transmission from Arcturus Minsk. You and Captain Rayner have done well, Commander. I believe our efforts have weakened the Confederacy's grip on the fringe worlds. But our job out here isn't done yet. Lieutenant Kerrigan, my second in command, will elaborate. I'll get straight to the point. Our sources tell us that Antigua Prime is ready to begin open revolt against the Confederacy. Unfortunately, the Confederates seem to be aware of this as well. They've stationed a large detachment of Alpha Squadron troops there, under the command of General Duke. It will be your job, Commander, to free this colony and show our good intent to the Antiguan people. Lieutenant Kerrigan will help you deal with Duke's officers. The rest of the Confederates are yours to deal with. It appears that the Confederates are in a state of panic about the Antiguan Revolt. I'm picking up a high number of Confederate transmissions going back and forth between their outposts and their headquarters on Tarsonis. Most of the transmissions are heavily coded, but wait, here's something. There's a General Duke calling from Alpha Squadron flagship NORAD 2. We've crash landed and are being hit hard by the Zerg. Request immediate backup from anyone receiving this signal. Repeat, this is a priority one distress call. Zerg? Here? <sighs> Serves them right. About time they got a taste of what it's like to be in there mixing it up. Jim, I want you to move in and save that base. I'm positive I didn't hear that right. Arcturus, have you lost your mind? Listen, I know Duke's a cold-hearted bastard, but an entire colony shouldn't have to suffer for that. Besides, a Confederate general could prove to be a powerful ally. This is an opportunity we cannot miss. I don't like this at all. I'm not asking you to like it. I'm asking you to do it. Yes, sir. Great. Let's get this over with. and lose, or you can join us and help save our entire race from being overrun by the Zerg. I don't think it's a difficult decision. Join forces with you? I'm a general, for God's sake. A general without an army. I'm offering you a position in my cabinet, not just some backwater post. Don't test my patience, Edmund. You've made the right choice, General Duke. I can't believe you're really gonna trust this snake. 
Don't worry, Jim. He's our snake now. Commander, our position has been discovered. As of two hours ago, a large Confederate strike force arrived on Antigua Prime and established a base camp within our defensive perimeter. Arcturus Mengsk is calling a meeting. Greetings. I know you're all concerned about the Confederate strike force, but first we have a grave matter to discuss. It seems our data disks didn't hold weapon designs after all. Lieutenant Kerrigan will explain. You all know that the Confederates run a program for psychically gifted humans, training them to be ghosts. Those running the program found that the Zerg are attuned to the psychic emanations of ghosts. So the Zerg are here for you, darling? Huh. This keeps getting better and better. Shut up. There's been a lot of secret Confederate research surrounding ghosts and the Zerg. What we stole was a small but critical piece of the puzzle. Designs for a transplanar psionic waveform emitter. The emitters broadcast the neural imprint of a ghost, but at a much greater magnitude. These things reach across worlds. The Confederacy used these psi emitters to lure the Zerg into isolated containment areas. Your colony, Marsara Commander, was one such location. What are you saying? I'm saying the Zerg are a secret weapon developed by the Confederacy. I'm saying you were all subjects of a Confederate weapons test. Just as they destroyed Korhal with nuclear weapons to establish dominance a generation ago, they would use the Zerg to put an end to their other rivals. Only this time there'd be no outrage. Who could suspect the aliens were their creation? No, they'd be lauded as heroes for coming in and destroying the Zerg. It's time the Confederacy paid for its crimes. And I know just the way. Lieutenant Kerrigan is going to plant an emitter at the Confederate base camp. Commander, you will provide her with an escort. When the Zerg arrive, they'll break the blockade for us and we'll make our escape. Now, get moving. We will do whatever it takes to save humanity. Our responsibility is too great to do any less. Greetings, Commander. Receiving incoming transmission. The time of our final strike against the Confederacy is close at hand. Before we can strike at Tarsonis itself, however, we must break through the Confederacy's most potent defenses. General Duke will brief you. I've defended Tarsonis in over 30 major battles, so I know its defenses inside and out. There are three primary orbital platforms that serve as staging areas for the Confederate fleet. If we assault the central platform, we should cause enough of a ruckus to allow a small force to break through the planetary defenses. General, I'm impressed. I never figured you for the frontal assault type. Well, the Confederates have Omega and Delta Squadron troops defending the platform. And they're nothing compared to my Alpha Squadron boys. <laughs> right. This is Duke. The emitters are secured and online. Who authorized the use of psi emitters? I did. Lieutenant. What? The Confederates on Antigua were bad enough, but now you're going to use the Zerg against an entire planet? This is insane. She's right, man. Think this through. I have thought it through. Believe me. You all have your orders. Carry them out.
I've picked up several dozen Protoss warships descending upon Tarsonis. They seem to be heading on a direct course to the primary Zerg hive. If they engage the Zerg, the Confederates may escape. Commander, send Lieutenant Carrigan with a strike force to engage the Protoss. Captain Raynor and General Duke will stay behind with the command ship. First you sell out every person on this world to the Zerg. Then you ask us to go up against the Protoss. And you're going to send Kerrigan down there with no backup? I have absolute confidence in Kerrigan's ability to hold off the Protoss. This is bullshit. Kerrigan, are you reading this? I heard. I'm going down there. Arcturus knows what he's doing. I can't back out on him now. Funny. I never thought of you as anyone's martyr. <laughs> Why are you doing this, Kerrigan? Look, I know about your past. I mean, I've heard the rumors. I know you were part of those experiments with the Zerg, that Minx came and saved you. But you don't owe him this. Hell, I saved your butt plenty of times. Jimmy, drop the knight in shining armor routine. It suits you sometimes. Just not, not now. I don't need to be rescued. I know what I'm doing. The Protoss are coming to destroy the entire planet, not just the Zerg. I know that because, well, I just know it. I am a ghost, remember? Once we've dealt with the Protoss, we can do something about the Zerg. Arcturus will come around. I know he will. I hope you're right, darling. Good hunting. Receiving incoming transmission. This is Kerrigan. Base is under attack. Time. There's a wave of Zerg advancing on this position. We need immediate evac. Belay that order. We're moving out. What? You're not just gonna leave them? All ships, prepare to move away from Tarsonis on my mark. Uh, boys? How about that evac? Damn you, Arcturus. Don't Base do this. Base is under attack. It's done. Helmsman, signal the fleet and take us out of orbit. Now. Commander? The fleet has lost contact with the ground forces at New Gettysburg. General Minsk has ordered the immediate disengagement of the Korhal fleet from the Tarsonian system. Protoss and Zerg forces continue to battle across the core continent of Tarsonis. Receiving incoming transmission. I can't believe he actually left her down there. I'm gone, and you better come with me. There's no telling who Arcturus will screw over next. Receiving incoming transmission. Gentlemen, you've done very well. But remember that we've still got a job to do. The seeds of a new empire have been sown, and if we hope uh, to re- To hell with you! You're making a terrible mistake. Don't even think to cross me. I have sacrificed too much to let this fall apart. You mean like you sacrificed Kerrigan? You'll regret that. You don't seem to realize my situation here. I will not be stopped. Not by you, or the Confederates, or the Protoss, or anyone. I will rule this sector, or see it burnt to ashes around me. If you try to get The fleet way, is prepped and ready, Commander. Awaiting orders. The hell with him. We're gone. It appears that General Duke has successfully activated Tarsonis' primary defensive weapon, the Ion Cannon. The cannon must be shut down if any escape attempt is to be made. Well, Commander, looks like we're on our own. It's funny. Seems like yesterday Arcturus was the idealistic rebel crusader. Now he's the law and we're the criminals. Kills me to know that we helped him achieve his goals of conquest. Damn it. I shouldn't have let her go alone. Fellow Terrans, I come to you in the wake of recent events to issue a call to reason. Let no human deny the perils of our time. 
while we battle one another, divided by the petty strife of our common history, the tide of a greater conflict is turning against us, threatening to destroy all that we have accomplished. It is time for us as nations and as individuals to set aside our long-standing feuds and unite. The tides of an unwinnable war are upon us. And we must seek refuge upon higher ground, lest we be swept away by the flood. The Confederacy is no more. Whatever semblance of unity and protection it once provided is a phantom, a memory. With our enemies left unchecked, who will you turn to for protection? The devastation wrought by the alien invaders is self-evident. We have seen our homes and communities destroyed by the calculated blows of the Protoss. We have seen firsthand our friends and loved ones consumed by the nightmare surge. Unprecedented and unimaginable though they may be, these are the signs of our time. The time has come, my fellow Terrans, to rally to a new banner. In unity lies strength. Already many of the dissident factions have joined us. Out of the many, we shall forge an indivisible whole, capitulating only to a single throne. shall watch over you. From this day forward, let no human make war upon any other human. Let no Terran agency conspire against this new beginning. And let no man consort with alien powers. And to all the enemies of humanity, seek not to bar our way. For we shall win through, no matter the cost. Awaken, my child, and embrace the glory that is your birthright. Know that I am the Overmind, the eternal will of the Swarm, and that you have been created to serve me. Behold that I shall set you amongst the greatest of my celebrates, that you might benefit from their wisdom and experience. Yet your purpose is unique. While they carry forth my will to the innumerable broods, you have but one charge entrusted to your care. For I have found a creature that may yet become the greatest of my agents. Even now, it resides within a protective chrysalis, awaiting its rebirth into the swarm. You must watch over the chrysalis and ensure that no harm comes to the creature within it. Go now, and keep safe my prize. I am well pleased, young Cerebrate. And so long as my prize remains intact, I shall remain pleased. Thus its life and yours shall be made as one. As it prospers, so shall you. For you are part of the swarm. If ever your flesh should fail, that flesh shall be made anew. That is my covenant with all Cerebrates. Now you have grown strong enough to bear the rigors of warp travel with the Swarm. Thus we shall make our exit from this blasted world and secure the Christmas within the Hive Cluster upon the planet Char. Remnants of the Protoss fleet still linger within this planet's orbit. They will attempt to block our exodus at every turn. My brood shall aid you, Cerebrate, should you require assistance. Behold the power of that which is yet unborn. For the swirling images that flow forth from the chrysalis are only a shadow of the sleeper's true power. The 
psionic emanations of the chrysalis have reached out into the depths of space and lured our enemies to us. Even now, we are aware of their plans. All right. All squadrons close formation. Scan for hostiles. Emperor Arcturus believes that there's Zerg out here, so it's our job to flush them out. I don't want any slip-ups this time. We'll show these critters that they can't run from the Terran base. Engage the Terran forces with care. Your priority is to protect the Chrysalis at all costs. Hold, Cerebrates. Do not pursue them. Cerebrates, you must stay and relocate the Chrysalis to a more secure location. Dagoth shall deal with the remaining Terran forces. with the forces of the Dominion, the emanations of the Chrysalis have called even more of our enemies to Char. These two shall be eradicated by your hand, Cerebrate, for you grow more cunning with each passing battle. Indeed, you are a testament to my will and the fury of the Swarm. Yet first must you stay your wrath and watch over the chrysalis a while longer, for the very hour of the sleeper's rebirth is at hand, and soon my greatest creation shall be loosed. Arise, my daughter. Arise, Carolyn. By your will, father, I live to serve. Let all who oppose the Overmind feel the wrath of the Swarm. Well done, Cerebrit. What I have wrought this day shall be the undoing of my enemies. Let not a Terran survive. Mother of God. Kerrigan, what have they done to you? Sarah, is that really you? To an extent. I'm far more than I once was, Jim. You shouldn't have come here. But the dreams... I dreamed you were still alive, that somehow you were calling to me. I was. While I was in the Chrysalis, I instinctively reached out to you and Arcturus telepathically. Apparently, Arcturus sent Duke here to reclaim me. But that was then, Jim. I'm one of the Zerg now, and I like what I am. You can't imagine how this feels. So, what? Are you gonna kill me now, darling? That is certainly within my power. But you're not a threat to me, Jim. Be smart. Leave here now and never seek to confront the Zerg again. Doesn't look like I have much choice. Cerebrate, you watched over me during my incubation, and I am grateful to you. It is my wish that you continue your vigil, so that I might strengthen my powers to better aid the Swarm. I have been unable to access the totality of my latent powers, and as such, I would like to infiltrate a Terran science vessel and uncover the secrets of their abandoned ghost projects. If I can learn more about their mental conditioning, I can undo the damage their tinkering scientists have done to my mind. 
Though you be the favored servant of the Overmind, you would do well to remember that you are just a servant. You know of our grand mission, Kerrigan. Would you put your personal whims before the will of the Overmind? Do not cross me, Zalas. I will do as I see fit, and not you or any other Cerebrate shall stand in my way. Let her go, Zaz. The greatness of her spirit has been left to her, that the swarms might benefit from her fierce example. Fear not her designs, for she is bound to me as intimately as any Cerebrate. Truly, no Zerg can stray from my will, for all that you are lies wholly within me. Kerrigan is free to do as she desires. By your will, Overmind. Cerebrate, you must see that she comes to no harm. Cerebrate, I have located the records I sought. We have everything we need here. Zerg right here. <laughs>
You feel that, Cerberus? The Protoss are here, on Char. They have been for some time, hiding. Protoss Commander, it was folly of you to come here, for I am Kerrigan, and I am Queen of the Zerg. I know of you well, O oh Queen of the Zerg, for we have met before. I am Tassadar of the Templar. I remember your selfless exploits, defending humanity from the Zerg. Unfortunate it is to see that one who was once so honorable and full of life would succumb to the twisted wiles of the Overmind. Do not presume to judge me, Templar. You'll find my powers to be more than a match for yours. In fact, I sense that your vaunted power has diminished since last we met. Mayhap, O oh Queen. Or is it only that I need not flaunt my power in such an infantile test of will? Foolish Templar, prepare your defenses. I will come for you soon. Kerrigan, I sense something strange about this Templar. Perhaps you should reconsider your attack. For the last time, Zars, you question my motives and authority at your own peril. You dare threaten a celebrate? You'll be the doom of us all. All right. An illusion? Are you afraid to face me, Templar? So long as you continue to be so predictable, O Queen, I need not face you at all. You are your own worst enemy. Insufferable Protoss coward. Tassadar cannot evade my wrath forever. I shall find him and cut it. Kerrigan, Zas is dead. Oh, it is a pity that Cerebrates cannot truly be killed. I expect that the Overmind will reincarnate him soon. No, he will not. The Protoss have devised some new attack, an attack powerful enough to nullify our reincarnation and give pause to the Overmind itself. So, Tassadar's plan was merely a diversion. I should not have underestimated him so. Without its master, Zas's brood has run amok, and even now threatens the Hive Cluster. Cerebrate, you must eradicate the rampaging brood and stem any further damage it might cause. I shall deal with the Protoss myself. Behold, my long silence is now broken, and I am made whole once more. The cunning Protoss have dared strike down that which was immortal. For the Protoss who murdered Zaz are unlike anything we have faced before. These Dark Templar radiate energies that are much like my own. And it is by these energies that they have caused me harm. Yet shall their overweening pride be their downfall. For when the assassin Zeratul murdered Zaz, his mind touched with mine, and all his secrets were made known to me. I have taken from his mind the secret location of Ayr, the Protoss homeworld. At long last, my children, our searching is done. Soon we shall assault Ayr directly. For now, we must ensure that the Dark Templar can cause no more harm. Cerebrate, you shall set a trap for our foes. Kerrigan will lead them to you. Protoss, you shall know my wrath. Now you will know the fury of the Queen of Blades.
my children, the hour of our victory is at hand. For upon this world of Aya shall we incorporate the strongest known species into our fold. Then shall we be the greatest of creation's children. We shall be... Perfect. Yet before I can be made manifest upon this world, the way must be prepared. You must seize the Kedaran Crystals, for within them lies power undreamed of by the Kotas. Go now, my Cerebrit. Secure the Crystals and bring swift wrath to all who oppose the Swarm. Cerebrit, the Kedaran Crystals are in our possession. Now, all shall tremble before the might of the Swarm. You have done well, my Cerebrit. The Protoss can do nothing but flee before the onslaught of the Swarm. But now you must assault one final sight before our conquest is assured. Behold, there is a temple not far from here that lies upon ground most hallowed. Though I have borne witness to the passing of countless millennia, the temple which you must assault is older by far. For it was constructed by my creators, the Zelnaga, and it marks the site where the Zelnaga first set foot upon Ayr. The temple must be cleared, and the Kedaran crystal set in its place. Only then shall the way be made ready, for it is upon that ground alone that I may be manifest. Shall the events set into motion so long ago be made complete? For the Protoss, too, were created by the Zelnaga. They were the first creation, gifted with a purity of form. And we were the second creation, blessed with a purity of essence. Indeed, our two species are but opposite facets of a greater whole. Soon shall our two races be made as one. Thenceforth shall all feel the wrath of the Eternal Swarm, for the hour of judgment is come. Entaro Adun, Executor. I am Judicator Aldaris. I have been sent by the Conclave to serve and counsel you. The former Executor, Tassadar, was commanded to halt the Zerg progress in the Terran Sector by burning the infested human worlds. Unfortunately, he disregarded his orders 
and attempted to destroy the Zerg while sparing the Terrans from the flame. Clearly, Tassadar has failed us. You must not. The Conclave has dictated that our first priority is to strengthen our defenses. You must reinforce our outpost in Antioch and make certain that the province does not fall to the Zerg. Your old comrade, Praetor Phoenix, will meet you there and assist you in this endeavor. No executor, although we too have marched across hundreds of worlds together, I never imagined that we would be fighting an Aya. The Zerg are indeed worthy foes. Antaro Adun, Executor. Your defense of Antioch has restored my faith in the Templar caste. I admit that Tassadar's desertion had shaken my faith. Indeed, Alvarez. I would hope that the Judicator would put more faith in their Templar brethren. Tassadar! Where have you Be been? Be silent, Judicator. There is no time to waste, and I have much to tell you. As you know, the Zerg vanished after the fall of the Terran world of Tarsonis. And though the Conclave bid me return home, I was compelled to remain. A powerful psionic call drew my attention to a remote barren world named Char. Apparently the call was answered by others as well. For upon Char, I encountered those who were once our brethren. The Dark Templar. Consorting with the Fallen Ones is heresy! Enough! Hear me, Executor. For I have learned much from the Dark Templar prelate, Zeratul. The Overmind controls its minions through agents called Cerebrates. Strike down the Cerebrates, and the swarms will surely fall. Executor, Tassadar may be right. If you can keep the Zerg occupied, my force may be able to penetrate their perimeter and slay the Abomination. I pray we can trust you, Tassadar. Already I can sense the taint of the Fallen One's influence on your mind. You must return to Ayr at once. My concern is for the safety of Ayr, not the judgments of the Conclave. I will return when the time is right. I will remain behind and observe the effects of our attack. Return to the Citadel. I shall notify you when the brood becomes erratic. Executor, I bring news most dire. The Cerebrate that we thought we had killed has arisen again. The creature's battered form was reincarnated despite the considerable damage we inflicted upon it. Even now, the Cerebrate drives its brood in preparation for their next offensive. It is as I feared. It was folly to believe Tassadar could be trusted. The Conclave will not soon forget his wanton betrayal. Nevertheless, we must stand resolute, for attacking defenseless Cerebrates is not the way of true Protoss warriors. We shall overcome the entire swarm with the might and the fury that is our heritage. Executor, we shall lead our main strike force to the province of Sion, which has fallen to the Zerg. It's time the Zerg felt the wrath of the Sons of Ayr. Prayer to Phoenix will remain here with a small detachment and guard Antioch from any further assaults. Adun be with you, Executor. Bring swift death to the enemies of Ayr. Sorry about that. Executor, Antioch is under attack by overwhelming Zerg forces. Prayer to you must hold your position for as long as possible. Fight on, brave Phoenix, and know that the gods watch over you. Entaro Atun.
Executor, I know that you were reluctant to leave Iyer in this dark hour, and that you still grieve for the loss of your comrade, Phoenix. But remember that he lived and died as a Templar. He has reached the Kala's end. There is no greater glory than that. We Judicator are called to look beyond such matters, to ensure the safety and future of our people. It is not the Zerg, but the rogue Tassadar, who represents the greatest threat to us now. If he is allowed to spread the Dark Templar's tainted influence to Ayer, all will be lost. We will find him and bring him to judgment. Tassadar claimed that this world was abandoned by the Zerg just prior to the invasion of Ayer. Yet I still sense a lingering darkness here. Be prepared for anything, Executor. If there are still Zerg on this world, then they must surely know of our arrival. Executor, how is it that you've come here? I was about to abandon all hope of rescue. I have come to arrest you and bring you home to Aya to stand trial. Arrest me? Aya burns at the touch of the Zerg. You travel all this way to arrest me? Don't let it get to you, man. This happened to me once. Who is this human, Tassadar? The name's Jim Rayner, pal. And I won't be talked down to by anybody. Not even a Protoss. A human. Tassadar, your taste in companions grows ever more inexplicable. Executor, prepare to take Tassadar into Executor, custody. Executor, wait. I do not know what they have told you about me. But what I have done, I have done for Ayer. Help me find Zeratul and his Dark Templar. They alone can defeat the Overmind Cerebrates. Once we have won, I shall gladly submit myself to the judgment of the Conclave. Unthinkable. You presume that we would side with the Dark Ones as you have? You have gone quite mad, Tassadar. You shall speak of them with respect, Eldaris. Executor, there is much that I can explain to you. If only you'll help me find Zeratul. You have my thanks, Executor. Now let us find Zeratul and speed our way home. Executor, by following Tassadar and attempting to rescue the Dark Templar, you have openly defied the will of the Conclave. Abandon this mad scheme now, and the Conclave may show you mercy. Don't let him control you, Executor. The Judicator have long since steered the actions of the Templar to their own ends. It's time we acted of our own accord. Ah, Tassadar, have you fallen so far? To think that you were our brightest hope, our most beloved son. Now you are everything that we are not. You are lost to us. Not only have you damned yourself, but you have damned those who have followed you. Such is the price for our race's salvation, Judicator. I have been here with the Dark Templar these last few months. While I helped them in their fight against the Zerg, I learned many of their secrets from the prelate, Zeratul. Apparently, the energies which empower the Dark Templar also course through the Overmind and its Cerebrates. The same Cerebrates which you told us to destroy. Your advice was useless. For the creature was reincarnated before our eyes. Unfortunately, yes. Your attack on the Cerebrit failed because the energies that you wield are useless when used directly against the Overmind and its Cerebrates. Only the Dark Templar's power can truly harm the Zerg. That is why we must rescue Zeratul and return him to Ayr. You were warned, Executor. The Conclave will not be pleased. Commander, this is General Edmund Duke of the Terran Dominion Armada. You are in violation of our airspace and have endangered human lives in your reckless attack against the Zerg. I order you to withdraw your ships immediately. 
If you fail to comply, I will not hesitate to open fire upon your vessels. General Duke, I am Tassadar, and you are well known to me. Whatever leniency I extended to you and your comrades before may have been an error. If you persist in halting our course, we will burn your pathetic fleet down to the last man. I'm gonna have to assume that was a hostile response. Hey, Sergeant! Sarge! Hey! You will immediately tell me why you have called me from my desk, Private! Protoss unit, Sarge! Coming through the South Pass! It looks broke! Kill it! Executor, I sense that Zeratul and his brethren are close by, but I have been unable to make contact with them. I fear they may be in grave danger. We must scour this area immediately and find the Dark Templar, lest they be overcome by the Zerg. Greetings, Dark One. I have come to bring you home. Greetings to you, mighty Tazadar. I knew that you would not forsake us. During the time that you have spent with us, you have learned to value our ways and our methods. You have learned to channel our dark power as well as that of your masters. And thus, you alone have found completeness beyond the scope of the Gala. But I fear that the Conclave in its pride would never bring itself to welcome outcasts such as we. Outcasts though you may be, it is your vision and courage that may yet save our homeworld from the swarm. I beg of you, Zeratul, return with us to Ire. Though they are petty and have in ignorance cursed your kind for generations, help me save our people. Since our banishment long ago, we have never failed in our responsibility to Ayo. Though it shall cause us great pain to see our homeland once more, we shall return with you, Tassadar. We will do what we can. Greetings, Executor, and greetings to you, Tassadar. I am overjoyed to see you both return home in this dark hour. The Zerg have redoubled their efforts, and it Phoenix. seems that I have It can't be. The Executor told me of how you fell before the Zerg. How is it that you live and breathe? 
<laughs> well, after my unfortunate defeat, my ruined body was recovered by our brethren. I now reside within the cold robotic shell of a dragoon. Old friend, would that this never came to pass. Nonsense! There is no shame in defeat, so long as the spirit is unconquered, and I am still able to serve Aya to a degree. But enough of this. There is much you both need to know. You have been branded as traitors by Alderis and the Conclave. Even now they seek to arrest you and execute the Dark Templar of Zeratul. I never believed that they would go so far. In the face of total annihilation, they still cling to their failing traditions. Yes, and that makes them all the more dangerous. They hunt you even now, Tassadar. And though I damn myself by doing so, I shall stand by you till the end. In Taraladun, noble phoenix. Executor, it seems that if our world is to live, we must protect the Dark Templar from our own brethren. Although it pains me greatly, not even the Conclave shall stand in our way. Executor. You and the traitor Tassadar are to cease your resistance and surrender yourselves to the judgment of the Conclave. We will take the outlaw Zeratul into custody and deal with him as is written by the Kala's law. Flee back to your masters, Aldaris, and huddle with them in darkness, for your actions shall set us all unto the Zerg. Executor, Aldaris. This madness must stop! The sight of my brethren slaughtering one another is more than I can stand. Though I fear you would doom us all, Alderis, I surrender myself to the Conclave. End Taro Adun, Executor! Don't give up the fight! Tassadar of the Templar. By your actions, you have severed yourself from the mercy of your brethren. You refused to destroy the Terran worlds as was commanded. You have questioned time and time again the sacred will of the Conclave, and you have abandoned your home world in its darkest hour. Most grievous of all is that you have allied yourself with the blasphemous Dark Ones and learn to utilize their profane powers in tandem with our own. What say you, O fallen Templar? Aldaris, I submit myself to the Conclave's judgment. But know this, given the same choices again, I would surely have made them. I have sacrificed all that our world might live. I have sullied my honor. I have discarded my rank and standing. I have even broken our most ancient traditions. But never think that I would for one moment regret my actions. For I am Templar. And above all else, I have sworn to protect our homeworld to the end. Taro Adun, Executor. All seems lost now, but still we must fight on. We must find Tassadar and secure his release from the Judicator before they can execute him for treason. Without him, I fear there is no way to defeat the Zerg and their Overmind. Zeratul and his Dark Templar have vanished, leaving us to fend for ourselves. 
I wonder if Tassadar was mistaken to have put his trust in them. We are receiving a transmission from Captain Raynor's command ship. This is Raynor. I'd like to help if I can. Tassadar laid it on the line for me and my crew on Char. I'd like to repay the debt. Besides, I'm a long way from home, surrounded by hostile aliens. I've got to do something. Then you shall, bold human. You shall. Executor, we have found Tassadar's stasis cell. We will attempt to free him now. I expected you to attempt to retrieve your hero. You will learn that the will of the Conclave is absolute. Make peace with Adun. Stay thy hand, Adjudicator. The stewards of Tassadar shall not fall while the Dark Templar live. Call off your guards and stand aside. And you may yet live to see another moon rise. I will not be addressed so by one so devoid of the Kala's light. You and your vile brethren shall die with these traitors. Are you truly so blinded by your vaunted religion that you cannot see the fall ahead of you? Your conclave believes that they are winning this war, but all they have succeeded in doing is helping the Overmind to win. What could you possibly know about our designs, Blasphemer? You speak of knowledge, Judicator. You speak of experience. I have journeyed through the darkness between the most distant stars. I have beheld the births of negative sounds, the born witness to the entropy of entire realities. Unto my experience, Alderis, all that you have built here on Iora is but a fleeting dream. A dream from which your precious conclave shall awaken, finding themselves drowned in a greater nightmare. We shall see. In Taro Adun, Executor. My gratitude to you for having secured my release knows no bounds. By all the gods, we may win yet. The time has come to let loose the fury of the Dark Templar. Zeratul, perhaps the time has come to tell our friends of the foe we face. Indeed. When I slew the Cerebrit on Char, I touched briefly with the essence of the Overmind. In that instant, my mind was filled with its thoughts. And I tell you now, our worst fears have come true. The Zerg were indeed created by the ancient Zelnaga, the same beings that empowered us in our infancy. But the Overmind grew beyond their constraints and has at last come to finish the experiments they began so long ago. So you see, my friends, we fight not only to save Ire, but all creation. If we fall to the Zerg, then the Overmind will run rampant throughout the stars, consuming all sentience, all life. It is up to us to put an end to this madness, once and for all. Our forces shall engage the primary Zerg Hive Clusters in an attempt to weaken their defenses. Once their numbers have thinned out, Zeratul and his companions can infiltrate the clusters and assassinate the Cerebrates. Adun willing, the Cerebrates' deaths will distract the Overmind long enough for us to assault it directly. Executor, our plan worked perfectly. The Zerg defenses are broken, and the way to the Overmind is laid bare. The time for our stand has come. Indeed. My friends, this is our final hour. Not all of us may survive the coming conflict. Yet, death may be a blessing should we fail here. We seek now to destroy a foe that has ravaged its way across the universe, consuming all in its path. And now... It has reached the end of its long journey. The Overmind has come to destroy all that we hold dear and assimilate us into itself. And I say to thee, this shall not come to pass. 
Ire shall not fall. Executor, I stand ready. As do I. Well, I guess all I have left is to see this through. The Zerg have taken everything from me. My home, my family, my friends. I know that nothing I do can bring those things back. But I'll be damned if I just sit on my hands and wait for the end. I want a piece of them, all right. I'm in. Then let our actions speak for us. For Adun. For Ire. Executor. Tassadar. This comes too late to you. But the Conclave has witnessed your defeat of the Cerebrate. They know now that they cannot deny the necessity or the valiancy of your actions. We sought to punish you, while it was we who were in error. You represent what is greatest in us all, and all our hopes go with you. Antaro Adun, brave sons of ire. Wow. Does that mean they're gonna send some backup for us? sustain severe damage ourselves. I will steer the Gantrithor into a collision course with the Overmind. If I can channel enough of the Dark Templar's energy through the hull of the Gantrithor, I should be able to bring swift death to the accursed abomination. Remember us, Executor. Remember what was done here today. May Adun watch over you. <laughs>